Moving on from there, the Marshall Thundering Herd, brand new head coach Charles Huff. They beat their first seven opponents last year by an average of 37 to 10. Beat the hell out of everybody. Doc Holliday's bunch was whooping everybody, but they lost their last three games. Injuries wrecked the offense at that time. Uh, Doc Holliday, of course, fired. Charles Huff, Alabama's running back, uh, running back coach, was brought in. Um, defense is absolutely loaded. They returned 10 players with 200-plus snaps. Uh, they were number one nationally in tackle success rate. That is coaching. That is 100% yeah, coaching. That, hang on. That was not just regular. That's Doc Holliday coaching. Yes. Who's not there anymore. 100%. My guy. Uh, redshirt, got canned. Redshirt freshman quarterback uh, Grant Wells returns along with offensive coordinator Tim Cramsey and eight other starters on offense. I think this team is going to be just fine. Um Looking at it, they are projected favorites in nine games. Yeah, the they're going to win a lot of games. The over-under here, the win total is eight. So the juice is minus 125 to the over, minus 105 to the under. And I'm going to go with the over. The projected uh, record what's, is... What's the win total again? Uh, win total is eight. Eight. The projected uh, record by SP Plus and FPI is eight and four on both of them. Okay. I... Kind of expect them to go eight and four. I think there's a shot that they could get to nine and three. Yeah, I do too. And now at the same time, brand new coaching staff coming in. I don't. I, I kind of don't want it to happen because I love Doc and. Well, yeah. Kind of pisses me off that they fired him for the. Well, it was it was all political. I understand. Yeah, it was. All I understand political. that. I understand that. I kind of hope that defense sucks because <laughs> because I think he was the architect of it. But that's not fair to the kids. It's not fair to the folks there. Um, the two big games. For them, Navy and App State, I'm trying to... I'm Both try of which are on the road, by the way. That's going to determine are they going over this eight or not. You think? Yeah. Or are you yeah. just talking those up to L's? Uh, their toss-ups are UAB and Florida Atlantic. And they got Florida Atlantic on the road. Um, I, I'm i kind of chalking up App State as a loss. Uh, I'm going to go on. I think, I think Navy... It's a coin flip. It's, yeah, I, I, I had it as a coin flip. flip. I had App State as a loss. I had I had UAB as a coin flip, and and I had um, oh my gosh, who was the fourth team we just talked about? No, that was it. That was it. Three, yeah. They had three. They had three games that I thought were were coin flips. Were coin flip games. And, and App State was a loss. Uh, the other two were coin flips. I'm going to go under, under the eight. That makes sense. That makes sense. So juice at one oh five. You'll uh, you'll get back. Some money if they only go seven and five. Yeah. All right, moving on. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com. And if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.